All right, scholars, thanks for tuning in here. Let's take a look at the algebra practice worksheet. I want to give you a few pointers. So this is a really common form for equations in physics. And you may remember last year you had density. The equation for density is D equals mass divided by volume. You may remember the equation for average speed. Average speed is distance an object travels divided by the time it travels for. You might remember that acceleration equals force divided by mass, the force acting on an object divided by the mass of the object. So it's really important that we be very comfortable, very confident with how to solve for any one of these variables as an unknown variable. Let's take a look at the examples here. I'm going to try to zoom this in to make it easier for you to see. All right, so we have 25 equals b over 2.5. A common way to do this is put 25 over 1, and now we can do what we call cross multiplying. 25 times 1 equals, sorry, b times 1 equals 25 times 2.5, and we end up with, um, with this here, 25 times 2.5 equals b times 1. This is 62.5 equals b. If you want to know if our answer is correct, we can always just plug it back in. Let's take a look at example 2. 26 e equals 6 over C. We can do the same approach of putting 26 over 1. Now we can, again, do cross-multiplying. And we will get 26C equals 6. And then we just divide both sides by 26. The 26 cancels on the left. We have C equals 6 over 26, which can be reduced to 3 over 13. It's okay if you leave your answers as fractions, but they should be reduced. Let's scroll over to the other part here. Density equals mass divided by volume. I'm asking you to isolate volume in this equation. Even though there are no numbers here, we can still do that just by um, following algebraic steps. We can cross multiply again. D times V equals M times 1. And now to isolate V we would need to divide both sides by D. And there we have it. Volume equals mass divided by density. Let's take a look at this example. How do we solve this? What do we do first? Do we divide by 3 or do we um, add 7? So it's easiest if we add 7 to both sides first because otherwise we're going to end up dividing both sides by 3 which means 3x divided by 3 and 7 divided by 3 and now you have a fraction of 7 divided by 3. Not fun. So here we go. 3x equals 28 Divide both sides by 3. 3's cancel. x equals 28 over 3, which we can write as a mixed number of 9 and 1 third. All right, I would like you to please. Uh oh. Uh oh. Pause. Okay, we're back. We lost our old inks, but that's okay. Do these for practice. Let's go to the back side. Show the algebra steps for rearranging the formula above into M form and V form. We already put it into V form on the other side, so let's just put it into M form. Actually, I'm going to let you do this on your own. So last thing here is I'd like to do an example for um, how to do problem solving in physics. Physics is about understanding how the world operates fundamentally. We make measurements, and what we find is that there are mathematical relationships between our measurements, between these variables that we measure. And um, an exercise in physics often is where you're given some information about a situation, and you use that information to determine or predict um, an outcome, or what some unknown variable will be. So this is going to seem like just math, and at this point it is just math. That's what we're reviewing. But it will give us a foundation for when we are studying the physical laws of the universe starting on Monday. So let us um, take a look at this practice. 
The mass of a piece of wood is 20.8 grams and the volume is 18.6 cubic centimeters. What is the density? So we can first identify the given variables, write them down. Step one, we are told that the mass is 20.8. So M equals 20.8 grams. I'm going to zoom in on this. And we are told that the volume V, capital V, is 18.6 cubic centimeters. So we did step number one. Uh, step one right there. Now step two, identify the unknown variable. This is what you are being asked to find. Write it, um, yeah, write it down. So let's go to that. So what is the density? That is our big question. Capital D equals question mark. Okay, now, is there an equation, a known equation, that, that describes the relationship between these three variables? So this is now step three. Identify the relevant equation that contains all these variables. If necessary, rearrange using algebra until the unknown variable is isolated on one side of the equation. All right, so we know that density equals the mass of an object divided by its volume. We are trying to find density. Density is already isolated, no need for further algebra. Now we would substitute in these values, 20.8 grams, 20.8 grams, I'm going to do that grams in a different color, actually. Erase it. We're going to do it in green. And the reason I'm picking a different color is just to make them stand out as units. We're going to divide by the volume of 18.6 cubic centimeters. And all we have to do is a calculation now. 20.8 divided by 18.6 is going to be, if I do it in my head, let's see, let's see, let's see, 1.12. Did I get it? Actually, I already did the calculation earlier. So, let's write that down. 1.12. And what are the units? We can't just leave a number without units. Numbers without units in physics are meaningless because these numbers all represent a measurement and you gotta know what the unit of measurement was. So let's take a look at our units. We had grams being divided by cubic centimeters. So our units are gonna be grams divided by cubic centimeters. Okay, there is our answer for the density of that piece of wood. Now, I'd like you to do practice two and practice three. Um, and keep in mind that this equation, D equals M over V, can be written three different ways. It can be written as V equals M over D, as we found on the front side of the paper. And it could also be written as M equals something divided by something. And that's what you were being asked to determine up above here. So right there. OK. So good luck with that. And I'll see you tomorrow in class. Thanks for tuning in.